Can I also ask, I mean, your, your perspective, both as managers and as players, we saw Pep being very vocal at times on the sideline. Yeah. Do you find this distracting? Do you find this confusing? Or do you like it? Because I compared to Antonio Conte, and I was mm. pitch side at Anfield, and he is constantly... <laughs> On the edge, he is. Yeah. He doesn't sit down, and he's yeah. screaming. But it doesn't look like the players are paying much attention to him, as opposed to we saw company come by to listen. We saw Fernandinho come and listen to to Pep Guardiola. No, I, I think I think he's the message has been put across before the game starts. You know, in your objectives of how you're going to play, and I think it's down to the individual how they act on the on the mm. side of the pitch. I mean, if you put them two characters. And you, you match it up, for the example, against someone like Arsene Wenger, who doesn't say very much and stays very calm because he has a different type of belief in his players that they know what they're doing. I'm going to let them get on with it. Others get more emotionally attached to a game. And that's what these, these two managers seem to do. Uh, it, does it make a real effect? I think the biggest effect today, for example, was the 15 minutes that Guardiola had at halftime compared to the opposition. Yes, exactly. I think each player and each group of players responding differently to, to, to certain managers. You know, is a, is a group, you have an older group, a more experienced group or a younger group. So I think it's very important you be yourself. And in the end, you have to convince the players with your skills as a coach, as a manager. And uh, because that is why they're buying into you or not. Do you believe as managers now <clears throat> that seeing you on the touchline helps your <laughs> players? I mean, when you're at Fleetfoot right now. Do you find that... It, your players will look to you? Do you find that it's a reassurance almost? I think for me is, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't like to see myself sometimes on the sideline, uh, but obviously uh, I think it has an effect on my players positively uh, in the most of the time. Maybe not all the time, but the most of the time. And, um, and I think that is what I believe in. Yeah, different players react in different ways. Some players feel more under pressure because their manager's a bit closer to them and, you know, and they just want to get on with the game and focus on what they're, what they're doing. Some players are very comfortable with the situation and, and they, they react, you know, interacting on the sidelines with them and take responsibility. So, like I said, it's, it's a case of the individual as the manager and with players as well as a group, you know, it's how, you're, how, how you, you put yourself across. Would you have liked it as a player? Pardon? I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it. You know, um, the managers that I worked with, the likes of Glenn Hoddle and people like that, he was always on the touchline and trying to orchestrate how you're going to play. I think that was more frustration because he wanted to be out there. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, you, you don't mind it. I didn't mind it, certainly.